cracking everybody how you doing saludos buenos dias i went to a funeral today for the homeboy danny Mijaras. uh there was a subscriber passed away family asked if i would come and give my condolences i did uh but I didn't, call, I didn't get on here today to talk about that. I'm going to do a video about him, particularly coming up soon. Uh, I didn't want to talk about something. Oh, and I didn't know this. Apparently, this is breaking news to me. That my, my channel got destroyed by some blue midget. Uh, not only does he have a problem... Uh, not as he's short, fat, and blue, and there's a problem getting laid. Uh, apparently, he has mental issues too. I'm talking about I didn't uh, that he wrecked my channel and destroyed my channel. Oh, man, my channel no longer exists. <laughs> I was like, okay. Uh, apparently, he doesn't know how small my channel is, and I'm bigger than I was before. Uh, go figure. Anyways, I wanted to talk about this this little wish. As I get older, I start to realize something. When I walked out, I walked out. I I was taken off the streets in the prison. My homeboys continued to move forward and gang bang and do everything that they were doing. And then when I went to prison and I finally got released, the homeboys are in the system doing what they do and they just kept moving forward. I came back on the streets and something happened. I went to get involved and I had a conversation with somebody talking about what the fuck do you think they were doing the whole time you were busted? They were handling their business. What makes you think, what makes you, think they need you? And it, it reminds me of that, that song by uh, Lil Dopey when he says He's eating dinner with his family in the video and he says, I want to go back outside. My homeboys need me. That's how I felt. It wasn't, it wasn't something I enjoyed anymore. It was more an ob obligation. More of a chore. More of a job now. When I got older, it wasn't about funds and games, having fun fun and games when I was a kid. We had to go do things we did because we had fun doing it. But then it came a point where it became serious. But that, that conversation I had sparked something in my head that I'm dispensable. When I got taken out the streets the first time Nothing changed, nothing stopped, everything kept going. I was dispensable. When I left the system to come home, nothing stopped, nothing changed. I was dispensable. And it comes down to now that I'm older, I'm dispensable. I don't matter. In the grand scheme of things, the eyes of the homies and stuff, I just don't matter. I never realized that. I always thought, hey, you know, I'm always have love for the homies, I'm always have this, I always have the respect for the neighbor because I'm willing to do whatever I have to for that respect. Come to realize that don't it doesn't matter what I do. Time catches up with you and, and you get older. And 
you have a good name in the neighborhood and, and all that, but all that doesn't matter anymore. Once you're old and older and you can't perform for them fools the way you used to, and you can't, you're not out there willing to go out in the streets and do things you used to, it, it, it doesn't matter anymore. The only one you're not dispensable for is your family. That's who I should have been looking forward towards when I was doing things was the family. The people that love me, the people that care about me, because when people somebody somebody dies from your from your family, your loved ones, they take a piece of you with them. Everybody that dies, all of them, there's a piece of you that turns up missing because of that person being gone. And when you die, you're gonna somebody's gonna miss you. You're gonna take a piece of that of the person living, remembering you. And you're gonna come back to all the time that you missed because you were out there doing something stupid or or you uh land up in prison. Now, if you want that life, that's, you know, I'm not, I'm not here to talk crap about anybody being busted or their lifestyle. If that's what they want, more power to you, homie. That's just not what I want. That's not how I look at it. I want to spend my life. That's not how I want to spend my memory. People remember me as being somebody that's always locked up, that was never there. There's going to come a time that you're going to understand that you're going to have to make decisions for your family and yourself before the streets and neighborhood. There is going to become a time, and I'm at that point right now where I worry about not what my homeboys think and not what anybody else thinks, but what my family thinks. It's just where I'm at right now. Have a blessed day, everybody.